Tony. Ow. Hello? Detective James Slate. What? Come to 432 Xenia Street, 6 o'clock. You got a name, bud? Great. You take a stroll through park. Beats a stuffy office. Yeah, whatever. Leave me alone. Look, I was sorry about her passing. She was a good person, but mostly a good friend. Please, I know you had something to do with her death. That's the way you talk to an old family friend, is it? I know you're the one who killed her. Look, if you want to know the truth, I'll tell you the truth. Don't bother. You're a liar. Look, can we take a walk now at this point? Yeah. I'm mad at you. Mad at me? I should be mad at you. Going off to James Slade saying this and that. Well, I only did what I thought I was supposed to do. Yeah, what you're supposed to do. You should listen to me. I'm your boss. You're the secretary. Well, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. That's all I hear. There's something I should have done a long time ago. First be at Mother, she couldn't handle the pressure. Stop. Just tell me one thing. Why did you come find me? Uh, Melissa, I, I need a favor from you. And why should I do you any favors? So I can prove my innocence. Prove your innocence? Yes. I need, to I need you to testify for me. I'm innocent. <laughs> and by that statement, I'm just supposed to forgive and forget? You can take that for whatever you like. But please. Let's talk about this more at my dinner party this Saturday at 5 o'clock. Fine. I could go for some free grub. Great, great. I'd like to see you there. By the way, here's my address. By the way, here's something nice. <laughs> Say, can my chauffeur give you a ride to where we're going? No thanks. I'll walk. Detective Slate, thanks for coming. This better be important to pull me away from my Chinese dinner. Look, Slate, I know we've had our problems in the past, but you have to listen to me. When I got to the door, I didn't expect you to be there. Well, we all have surprises in our life. Would you care for a drink? Sure. I feel like our friend Bobby Dowling is up to something again. After he was blamed for Cassandra's death, which was dismissed by the court, I never thought I'd catch him again. As you probably didn't know, Cassandra Cobb had a daughter. I wasn't aware of that. Cassandra had to keep her daughter Melissa a secret because he didn't want Dowling manipulating her. That's what Dowling was known for, manipulation. Exactly. But the bigger picture is that Cassandra knew too much, so Dowling had to take her out like bad rubbish. 
So after he found out that Cassandra came to me, he had her killed. So I am worried for my life and for my family's life. Dowling already pointed the finger at me once for being his accomplice. I barely made it out with innocence. Mr. Kearney, I wouldn't worry too much. I think it's time I keep my promise and have the book thrown at him. If you need any further assistance, I am here. Thank you for your cooperation. I'm glad you stood by your promise and came this evening. And that's a wonderful dress you're wearing. Oh, just something. Just something I had lying around. I see. Let's get down to the business then. Would you care for a drink? Oh, uh, sure. I'll take a beer. Sure, a lady like you would prefer something a little more classy. Right. Class. You're very funny, Melissa. Well, we'll see just how funny I am when you go down for what you did. Mr. Dowling. Ah, very headstrong too. Please, call me Bobby. I have been doing some research on your late mother. Oh? Something interesting and very disheartening appeared in my search. And what might that be? Why didn't your mother tell me she had a daughter? I don't know. You know, she wasn't just my secretary. I trusted her. I trusted her till she found out. She ran to that detective and blabbed. So don't see where I can Let's just call you my leverage. I won't do it. So you got more scrap than sense that little head of yours? You leave me no choice. Here to take you to your new permanent home. I don't think so. Well, the courts think otherwise. Well, I'm sure we can change your mind. I don't think so. That kind of stuff is not going to work on me. Surely it's something we can do. Why don't you come in? Help me by putting on the cuff like the good old boy you say you are. Oh, right. how will we learn after all these years? I know more than you think. Keep hiding in there, darling. Here, Detective. Why don't you find out? I got you right where I want you. Oh. I thought I'd catch you here. This is Cobb. Are you alright? Yeah. It's good to see you, Mr. Kearney. This is Detective James Slate. He worked on your mother's case against Dallin. Is that my mother? I have. It's too bad she couldn't have been here to see the crook go down. Maybe we should get out of here. I'll need Miss Cobb to come down to my office. I have a few questions for her. Then I will see both of you in court soon. Hey, Blake. How you doing, buddy? What, Dowling? I finally got you, Dowling. This is where you belong, so get used to your new humble abode. Oh, slam of supplies for a job well done. I got some no man for you new detective skills. You know, Dowling, you could get the death penalty for what you've done. Ha! I had the best attorney there is. I got news for you, Dowling. Your attorney has been stripped of her license and is probably on her way to London by now. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Funny you should mention that. By the way, I've been meaning to ask. How's Lisa doing these days? Don't you dare say her name! Ha 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 